cuts. Like other local authorities, its budget is being cut this year. It'll need to bridge a £3.5 million shortfall over the next two years. The council says it's trying to avoid cutting funding for police community support officers and voluntary organisations. So these are the last painless savings we can make and we're still about a million and a half short on what we need to do next year. So we're really running hard to look at new sources of income, new sources of grant and ways of avoiding making people redundant or cutting services. The government says it's looking at ways to ensure that the foreign out-of-hours doctor scandal can never be repeated. Dr Daniel Ubani killed Game Cambridgeshire pensioner David Gray with a drug overdose. Last week, Dr Ubani was struck off by the General Medical Council, but is still allowed to treat patients in Germany. Yesterday, Look East revealed how Mr Gray's sons had disrupted an international medical conference in Germany where the doctor was speaking. He was struck off yesterday from the UK register, weren't you? Would you like to explain to people why they struck you off? What, what have you got to say? Sorry, sorry. You're a what charlatan. What have you got to say about that? Why are you practicing in Germany when you've been struck off yesterday? You're incompetent, you're a convicted killer. Well, Health Minister Earl Howe has told Lookies that out of hours GP care needs urgent reform. He says we're working closely with the GMC to ensure that foreign health care professionals are not allowed to work in the NHS unless they have proven their competence and language skills. We're currently exploring a number of options to put a stop to foreign doctors slipping through the net. Well, still to come on Look East tonight, the town cheering on its homeboy Matthew Upson ahead of his first World Cup match tomorrow. We'll take you on a musical tour of Norwich as we look at its bid to be city of culture and why this head teacher is up for a special award. A mother from Essex is warning young people who go backpacking not to take their safety for granted. Luke Howard from South Woodham Ferrers was killed in a road accident last year in Thailand. An inquest into his death was held in Chelmsford today. Debbie Knight had waited nearly a year for this day. Finally, an inquest was being held into the death of her son. Luke Howard was killed on a hired scooter on a backpacking trip to Thailand. The Essex coroner, Caroline Beasley-Murray, said had this accident happened in Essex, there would have been a full accident report and witness statements. But she said it was extremely difficult to get information when a death happened abroad. The driver who collided with Luke has been charged with driving offences, but the hearing was told that he's since absconded. He's my child and I'll never see him again. It's just that it's not, it's against the natural order, isn't it? And Debbie Knight made this appeal to young people going backpacking this summer. Go abroad and experience the world, but don't go abroad and think that you can compromise your safety and do things that you wouldn't do in this country. I think lots of our young people die abroad more than we could even begin to contemplate. And they, I think they will put themselves in places that they shouldn't be. I think they will put themselves in circumstances that they wouldn't do here. Please don't hire a scooter. They're cheap and they're easy to get round on, but you want to come home and tell people about your experiences, not come home in a box. It's clear from the photos that Luke was loving his trip and his mother doesn't want to put young people off travel. She just wants them to stay safe. Gareth George, BBC Look East. A man who raped his former partner and held her captive in his home has been jailed for eight years. Michael Wheeler from South End held the 17-year-old at knife point. Her mother raised the alarm after she failed to turn up for work. A jury at Basildon Crown Court found Wheeler guilty of rape and false imprisonment. A woman's been airlifted from a motor yacht off Felixstowe. She'd suffered spinal injuries in an accident aboard the Carpe Diem, which had broken down. A search and rescue helicopter from Watersham flew the woman to Ipswich Hospital. The Walton lifeboat towed the vessel to Levington Marina on the River Orwell. The fire service in Essex says it may have to make cuts to its frontline services. It's expecting to face a 10% reduction in government funding. It wants to make efficiency savings, but has also begun a review of fire stations and the use and deployment of fire appliances. 
pupils from across schools across Suffolk are being encouraged to think about farming as a career. The government is predicting a shortage of up to 10,000 recruits in agriculture. Today, 200 students went to a farm near Ipswich to find out more. With 80% of Suffolk used for farming, you'd think a career in agriculture was a natural option for these local school children. But it's not. Like much of the country, Suffolk is suffering from a farm recruitment shortage. Nationwide, it's predicted there'll be a shortfall of around 10,000 into the industry, an industry crucial to the well-being of both county and country. Today is about breaking down preconceptions, stereotypes of farming, and that farming has got a lot more to offer than just working on the land every day. It's about agronomy, which is looking after the crops. It's about engineers, which is looking after the huge machinery and the machinery. It's about the livestock, the stockmen. It's about the farm secretaries, all these people, and the environmentalists that are all associated with the farming industry. The average age of the current crop of farmers is the late 50s. That makes harvesting a new generation ever more important. Clive Lewis, BBC Look East at SEMA in Suffolk. The first prescription drug based on cannabis is being launched in Britain. Sativex has been developed with the help of Dr Willie Notcutt and his team at the James Paget Hospital in Galston. They staged the original trials of a cannabis spray. The new drug will help people who suffer from tremors as a result of multiple sclerosis. The site of an old car park in Ipswich is to revert to its former use with a lot fewer spaces. The Crown Street multi-storey was demolished because it had serious structural faults. The land it stood on will become a pay and display until its future is decided. In football, Norwich City have made their fifth summer signing. Andrew Sermon from Wolves is on a three-year deal. The fee is undisclosed. The 23-year-old played nine times in the Premier League last season. Boss Paul Lambert says the midfielder has a terrific left foot and great experience. Essex County Council is backing a college course to give young people the chance to be a volunteer at London 2012. The idea is to use the Olympic Games as a learning tool and the first few students on the personal best course have just graduated. In your task, refer back to the notes that you made yesterday. The 10-week course is run by Civic College. It's for youngsters who are not in full-time education or work, youngsters who need a bit of a hitch-up, a hitch-up inspired by the Olympic Games. The carrot at the end of the course was a chance to work as a volunteer at London 2012 and on their graduation day they were taken to a viewing gallery to see the Olympic site. It's progressing really well. I came here like a few years ago when they were just starting it. Like I went to the um, shopping centre and like it was just starting and it's like progressed quite a lot so it's really good. It's hoped they'll be motivated now to get back into education or find work. The students got their certificates from Paralympic gold medal winner Danny Crates in a ceremony at Essex County Hall. You can't make people do things with their lives, but this is the first step for these guys. They're seeing the power that volunteering has and predominantly looking at the Olympic Games. And we hear so many times that it's takes 70,000 volunteers to make an Olympic Games happen. Well, these guys have now finished their programme and they're on that first step of that ladder. And I'm looking to the future and what I can achieve. The search is on now for more students to continue the programme. Not all the starters came through the 10-week course, some dropped out. But the ones who saw it through have got one foot in the games. Sean Peel, BBC Look East, Essex.